Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another sweet lesson. We are going to go to Tinkercad Circuits. We are going to use that awesome LCD display, and I'm going to show you how quickly and efficiently we can code a little display that pops up several messages at a time. So let's get cracking. Step one is going to be to create a brand new circuit. And today we're going to use one of the pre made starters by simply typing LCD, and when the search pops up, Click this starter once and then wait. This is one thing you need to know is it does take a second to arrive. Notice I'm just wiggling the mouse while I wait. And then once it is in, I'm going to click to set it down. This is the exact same LCD I showed you before, but now we're using the wires that they gave us. When you click the white area, they got an awesome bend. It is still connected the same way as mine was. It's just theirs is rotated. Here's the magic part. They've already given us the code. If you hit start, you will see it pop up, hello world, and it'll do the counting. We're going to adjust all this, and let me show you the first smart step into how we're going to do it. Let's start by taking our project and do LCD and call it a card so that we can keep track of what it was. If you want to give it more words, you can. So let's create some smart code below the void loop. Press enter after that curly brace, and then type the word void, V-O-I-D, and we're going to call this C0 because it's going to clear line 0. Add both parentheses and then press enter. And then find the curly brace, which is above the enter key. After the open curly brace, press enter. And now we're going to type LCD dot set cursor with a capital C, followed by the parentheses. And then we're going to go 0, comma, space, 0, close parentheses and then you've got to remember the semicolon so this is going to move to set cursor 00, zero when we type c0 up in our code and then we're going to simply do lcd dot print and then after that we do the parentheses quotes and 16 spaces quotes close parentheses and once again you've got to have a semicolon and then I'm going to type the delay so that it pauses for a moment and I'm going to have it go 500 so it pauses half of a second and once again we have to end with a semicolon and last but not least we have to close that curly brace we have just created the sweet code clear line zero now we can go up to our project I'm going to add a delay Parentheses. This time I'm going to have it make wait two seconds. So I'm going to do 2,000. Parentheses. Got to have the semicolon. Press enter. C zero space. Both parentheses and the semicolon. Hit start and let's watch our amazing code come to life. There it is. It pauses and it clears our screen using the brand new amazing code that we just made. Let's stop the simulation super fast, go down to our void, copy it all using Control C and Control V. Make this one C1, and friends, if you are guessing at all, all we have to do is put a 1 here, and we will be able to clear both lines as we make an awesome electronic card for anyone we care about. I'm going to slide up here to my original code. I am going to get rid of these two lines because I don't want this program to count anymore. I want to change this so that it's writing on the top line. So I'm going to make that a 0, 0 since I cleared all of my old stuff. And now I'm going to make it say a cute little poem. Remember, we just type lcd.print with a quote. Add your cool words. I'm doing roses are red. We must do our close parentheses and then a semicolon. And then on the next line, I'm going to add a little delay because I want it to pause in between each line. I'm going to have it pause one whole second, making sure that I do the semicolon. And then I simply repeat the process by copying it and pasting it. But for my next sentence, I want it to go on the second column, which is labeled number one. Of course, this one has to say violets are blue. And then I've got to close it with the quotes in the parentheses. And don't forget that semicolon. That will pop an error. It's a good idea to test your code and make sure that it's working. Notice I missed one. Let's see what I missed on my void C1. 
check it out. That's super simple to spot. I just forgot the parenthesis. So let's close that little critter. I also, it looks like, turned off my insert mode. So there now I'm typing because I hit insert again on my keyboard. And let's hit start simulation and see if it works this time. If your screen ever doesn't show, make sure you just adjust and there it is. I'm going to hit this little reset button and watch it as it pauses, pops up, and pops up. My first two sentences. Notice violets are blue is the exact 16 characters. So that is something important that you have to remember is how much you've got to play with. Here's where the fun stuff starts hit stop simulation go back to your project and we get to use c0 so there's my c0 space parentheses parentheses semicolon and i'm going to move down and i'm also going to clear line one with a c1 parentheses parentheses and a semicolon and now i get to make my second part and i'm simply going to copy everything that i did up above and paste it down below but now I'm going to change it to say something else. I'm going to add a quick Mother's Day note. I'm going to see if Mom, you are awesome fits, even though it looks like it's going to be close. And then I'm going to end with I love you. And I think I'm going to connect the you are just to make sure it fits. Let's start the simulation and see how my cute little Mother's Day poem is working. There's the pause, clear, clear, boom, boom. And we have just created a sweet, looping Mother's Day card. I'm going to hit Stop Simulation. You can change these words to say anything you want. If you're inside my class, you need to give me a screenshot of what your cool little poem or other project said. If you want to share this with your mom, make sure you remember that all you have to do is invite people. And when you generate the link, copy it and email them the link, they can launch this pro project and actually see the awesome thing come to life on their computers, maybe even their phones and tablets. Friends, if you found this pretty cool, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.